So if you checked into the channel last week, you probably saw that Amazon leaked what was potentially some brand new Fire TV uh, series, which were supposed to be a cheaper, more affordable model. And we now have information that they are, well, not just information, but they are officially released. So Amazon has announced uh, not only a brand new premium model that uh, has some pretty great new features at a really affordable price that otherwise really hasn't been possible, but also the brand new two series, which is their new cheaper model that we're going to talk about as well in this video. I'm even thinking about ordering them this video, potentially, it will be a game time decision and seeing, uh, you know, maybe in person how they actually are. So we'll be reviewing them as well. So let's get into this brand new two series update. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And like always, I'll be answering all of your questions down below for the first hour to two hours of this video. Today's question comes from Daryl, who said, thanks for this. You're welcome, Daryl. Let's get into today's video. So Amazon actually has a, a few new models we're going to be talking about. They have these new QLED series smart TVs, and they have those brand new two series. Now there's a, a few new features that come with these. I don't want to get too much into it, uh, but it has a lot to do with the dimming capability. And my favorite part, which is this new kind of like home screen that it goes to. Um, so having that built in Fire TV actually you know, has a bunch of extra benefits to it, um, not only with Alexa and the fact that it can act like a giant ex echo show. I'm sorry, I just said the A word. So my uh, fire cube went off, um, but it has this brand new screen, which kind of reminds me of the echo show 15, which I have upstairs that I think I paid almost as much as this thing is. <laughs> so let's get into the actual TV itself. Um, so the first one I want to look at is the two series. So this is the new affordable one you can order now. Now it comes in two different sizes. So the 32 inch is actually only a 70, 720p max capability. Um, so you're not getting uh, as high quality, but it's extremely affordable. So this one is going for 269 Canadian, okay? Um, so American, that would be probably, I think it goes for, let's look this up here really quick. If you guys haven't, make sure you check out my Amazon store. It's down below in the description. Here it is. I don't know why that was so difficult. So this is the old four series that's now obviously on sale because they have these new ones coming out. Here it is, the two series. Yeah, so it's $200, just what I thought. So $200 for the 32 inch. I know you guys care more about the American prices. And for the 40 inch, now this one is 1080p. It's only $50 more. So it's not a crazy amount more. It's still extremely affordable um, and definitely worth that extra 50 bucks. And again, if we're talking Canadian, which none of you care about, <laughs> it's going to jump up to what, three... 39 so an extra 60 bucks roughly so i'm going to add this first one to cart um, now other than that you're not getting a bunch of other crazy new features we can go back here and look at some of the other new stuff that's coming with it they obviously have that alexa function they're all hdr 10 as well with dolby digital audio again that max 1080p it has built-in systems i'll be doing videos on this as well on how to customize this and stuff like this we can take a look at the comparison chart here so it does still have ethernet connectivity as one ethernet port right you still have alexa but you're missing some of these other features like the hands-free alexa which really isn't a big deal i gotta stop saying that word um picture and uh perfect brightness it doesn't have and that's in the new omni qled series that we're gonna look at after shut your mouth over there a word Shut up! You guys can't hear it, but uh, my A word's popping off over there. You guys know what I mean? All right, so let's move on to the new one that's coming out soon. Let me go back here. Ooh. Oh, oh, one sec. All right, so let's go back here for a sec because we're going to check out the brand new QLED. Now, these are the ones, the Omni series. This one is coming out May 11th, so we still have a little bit of time. But the crazy part is they usually didn't have them this affordable at this price and at this size. So these ones uh, originally, the, Q the Omni QLED, were not available at these smaller sizes, as low as 43 inches now. So if we look at the old models, which I don't know which one would be the best example, I think it would be the 4K. But they didn't have uh, this possibility with the QLED, and it's uh, the only other company to offer it before they said in this article was uh Haynes Heinz is that is that is that the company I'm thinking of you guys know which one I'm talking about uh oh the Toshiba was the other one that offered the same dimming capability uh in a QLED series um so yeah this is the brand new model with it obviously completely 4k we can see all the specs here right wi-fi so full array of local dimming with it uh ultra high definition 
So here's the size comparisons, right? Same as this. I think I'm going to order a 65 inch. Next level viewing experience doesn't really matter, right? Fire TV ambient experience and that picture perfect brightness are two of the brand new uh, added features. Um, so yeah, I think I should order this one as well. Now, what size should we get? I think we're going to get... So uh, the 55 inch is around 829 Canadian, 65 inch. Ooh, this is a tough one. I think we're going to go with the 55 inch. We're going to pre-order that now as well. So once we get all of these TVs in, well, the two of them, we'll be doing full reviews on them, including the two series. So if you're excited and you want some tutorials on the two series or a truthful review on it, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys for checking out today's video. Again, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.